Bury the dead, Irwin Shaw. Miss, uh, the top says I could get you to understand. Just what it was I wanted when I was alive. Maybe now I'll have better luck now that I'm dead. You know, there was a lot of things that I just didn't get enough of. Easy things. Like the things you, you see when you look outside the window not after supper. Or when you wake up in the morning. Things you smell when you step outside the door and summer's on. And the sun just starts to turn the grass brown. But things like, like the fuzz of green or rough. And a weakness start to come out on you overnight. Things like looking at rows of corn, scraping in a breeze, tall and green. There's a silk flying out the ears in the wind. Things like looking at the sweat come out oh, off your horse's fat flank and seeing it shining like silk and brilliant. Smelling all horses and strong. Things like watching the loam turn back all fat and deep brown as the plow turns it over so it gets to be too hard walking behind. Things like, like taking a cool drink of water out of the well. You've been boiling the sun all afternoon and feeling it go down and down in you. Cooling you off all too from the inside out. Things like seeing a little blonde kid all busy and serious playing with a dog in the shady side of a house. Ain't nothing like that down here, but my place is on the earth. My business is with the top of the earth, not the underside. What is that trap that yanked me down? Now, I know I'm not smart, and I'm easy trap. There's one thing I can tell. I got some stories to tell the farmers before I'm through. I, I gotta get my fella looking and smelling and talking and dancing. Man should be able to dance into his grave and not be dragged into it. Now, I've seen a lot of things. And mostly from the dark side of them. Like when I, I had to work hard to keep us from starving, turn my collar up to the wind, and they were mean and rotten and sad. But always I knew that things could be better. And that someday things were going to be better. And that guys like me who knew things were rotten and knew they could be better had to get out and fight to make it that way. Well, the fight's never over, Bess. I got things to say to people now. I got things to say to the people who, who nurse big machines, the people who swing shovels, and the people whose babies die with big bellies and rotten bones. I got things to say to the people who leave the rest of their lives behind just to fight in somebody else's war. Big enough to lift me out of the grave and put me right back in the middle of men just because I got the voice to sing them. If God could lift Jesus. <laughs> I got a new religion, Beth. I got a religion that wants to take heaven out of the clouds and put it right here on earth where most of us can get a slice of it. Isn't this pretty in heaven? Ain't no streets of gold and there ain't no angels and you gotta worry about sewage and railroad schedules and I don't guarantee everybody would like it, but it'd be right here. Stuck in the mud of this earth. There wouldn't be no entrance requirement. Like having to die to get into it. I see these things best.
sound arrogant to convey. But I've got heaven in my two hands to give to men. There is a reason for arrogance. You best get along now, Beth. Oh, and Beth, if you see my younger brother Tom, wish him an easy grave. See you.